Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. <laughs> I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Mr. Bancroft! Mr. Bancroft! What's coming up next for the Prince of Wales? Will you be performing Mr. Robinson's new work? Who will you be playing? Any comment on the notices for the play? Young man, dizzy ought to keep you on to deal with the liberals. <laughs> Go on, girl.
Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. Having a bit of fun, is he? Why, Mr. Fry? I do believe that man is drunk. I expect you're right, madam. I'm going to ask what he's having. Perhaps you'd let me recommend something instead. What you're talking about, <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli? Oi! Someone stop it! Oh, Mr. Fry! Look at it! Uh, yes, they uh, they seem to be. Um, no, people can see I've been married oh, twice, Mr. Fry. Oh, I'm fully aware. Doing. What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? 
I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one ton. So, this is a pint, is it? Huh? <laughs> Remarkable. <sighs> Nice doggy. Desmond, hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Hmm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry. I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Steady on. That's a girl. Well, I must Whoa. thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tires. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens. Campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the palace of Westminster. Do be careful. The government could ill afford another scandal. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. Doing fine. Your stop, My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Uh, thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm. 